Good evening, and welcome to Fine Point, where no narrative is sacred, no media hoax is safe, and we zero in on the big picture. I'm your host, Chanel Rion. As a country, it feels like we've been on a non-stop emotional roller coaster, be it the attempt on President Trump's life, the presidential switch-out step-downs, and investigation after investigation. It was nice this weekend to just smile and be proud of our country. During the Olympics, it is a time to show the world the power of American greatness and American exceptionalism. And this weekend, Simone Biles embodied both in a stunning performance that proves she is not only the greatest gymnast of all time, but one of the best encapsulations of the American dream. If you did not get to watch her, I encourage you to do so. But the corporate media tried to ruin all that joy by making her a political figure. Simone Biles, while racking up golds in Paris after mounting a stunning return to the vault after her mental health fallout, was proud of herself. So she posted on the social media app X a picture of herself saying that she loves her black job. Now, this is clearly a reference to President Trump's comments during the debate where he rightfully pointed out that several illegal immigrants are being put in line first over black Americans when it comes to our workforce. The fact is that his big kill on the black people is the millions of people that he's allowed to come in through the border. They're taking black jobs now. And it could be 18, it could be 19, and even 20 million people. They're taking black jobs. But here's the thing. The media is always looking for a new member of the resistance, someone to stick it to Trump. So this was thrown upon Biles. Even if they are athletes or celebrities, people are always going to have their own opinions when it comes to politics and their own sense of humor. They also have the right to post on social media, regardless of their sentiment in this country. But the media is always looking for a prominent figure to use as a cudgel against the right, further dividing our country instead of uniting it. I do not believe Biles intended to make herself the face of any resistance. Yes, she could very well be politically left-leaning, but I do believe the jab, if you can call it that, was in good fun while she was celebrating herself, using language of a pop culture moment. And that's okay. That does not make her a political revolutionary. Olympics are a time for us all, for the love of God, to put aside politics for once, to unite under the flag of our country, the flag that is supposed to bring us together. Simone Biles represents the talent of our country and the true freedom of our women and their potential in this nation. Our women are able to do flips and twirls over the repressive regimes of other countries that despise our way of life. It's a beautiful and very symbolic thing. It does not matter if you are red or if you are blue or if you are purple or if you are rainbow. When the Olympics are on, we are one country, and this weekend we got to see a young black woman who was in and out of foster care, between states and educations, get to do the most impossible feat that is named after her, representing all of us, every race, creed, color, the United States of America. We should be proud of her and proud of our country for showing the world what it means to be an American. And the media hates that approach. The media wants to boil everything down to division because if we remain divided instead of united, they do win. The men and women on these teams, I'm sure, have differences, but they have to work together for the country. It is against the interests of the corporate legacy media if we put down our swords for the weekend and celebrate together. So, bottom line, let's not make it just about the Olympics to be united once in a while. Let's get to know each other. Let us try not to be triggered and prodded in a certain direction by a corporate elite that hates us and hates the notion of this country. If we come together and remain united and enjoy what it means to be an American, we win, they lose. And that's my opening. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.